Once it was scanned to one half parsec. On screen. Weapons are at maximum. It's more like a big ball of wibbly wobbly, tiny whiny stuff. Open a channel. All vipers, break, break, break! Impossible to see. And then close up once the Helmsman laid a new course. Watch how I saw. Now it's gone completely. Engage. Hello and welcome to the Save Sci-Fi Podcast. Sorry for that little fumble. I accidentally turned the mixer up a little bit early. So halfway through the intro, you hear me talking. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, so anyway, on tonight's podcast, we have Scarecrow. Hello. We have Stuart. Hey. And joining us for the first time, out of the chat room, we finally let him in, we have Sky. Woohoo! Hey guys! So tonight on the podcast, we are covering E3, uh, Star Wars Rebels Season 2 Episode 1, and... The ultimate sci-fi game. What you guys voted for, and what won. So, let's get this show on the road with the ultimate sci-fi game. And, well, yeah. And I'm jumping that one really quickly because I'm just curious as to which way these guys would go. So, these are the final four games. So, you have to choose out of two out of these two. Um, Kerbal Space Program or Fallout? Hmm. It's, oh. it's hard both ways. Oh, that, that, that actually kind of hits us. Either way. So. Uh, I'm going to go Kerbal just because Fallout 4 isn't out yet. Alright, so one vote for Kerbal. Sky, which one are you going to vote for? Well, considering Fallout... Fallout's been a really big thing, like, since ages and ages ago. But I would probably have to go with Kerbal with this one. Kerbal? Okay, well that moves Kerbal into that the... feels more of a sci-fi. Yeah. Than um, Fallout. Okay, so... Personally, I think it was more... I think um, Fallout deserves it because it has been... Yep. So big for so long and still is big. So, well, unfortunately for you, Kerbal won as a 2 to 1. I'm, I'm just the judge, so I don't get to vote. Um, otherwise there'd be a tie and that wouldn't be fair. So, to work out the other one, the other finalists were Star Wars Knights of the Old Republic and Mass Effect. So, yeah. Which one of those two deserves to be chasing the top spot? (laughs) Again, hard choice. It's really hard. Very hard choice, this one. Yeah. Both games are... uh, uh, both, like, the Mass Effect series is absolutely amazing. So, in, in like, in, like, and KOTOR is, is, like, one of the best games out there. Like, it was... KOTOR it was, has insane replayability. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you can play it over and over and over again. <laughs> oh, yeah. I, the pro- mm. I'm just gonna say, I, I love hearing you guys to- be tortured, it's fun. <laughs> I'm, I'm gonna have to go Knights of the Republic just because the Star Wars in me. Yeah. I have to follow. I have to follow it. I have to follow my heart. I knew you would. <laughs> I love. I love them both, but I can't have stay. The, the, so they're absolutely both amazing games. Kotor. Kotor. Well, it's a two to one thing from the sounds of it, but I'm gonna go to Mass Effect here. I mean, I replayed Mass Effect. A uh, shit ton. Wow. You want to hear something funny? The f- the results here are the exact opposite of the results in the finals. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Sad. So, so going for... So this is for third place. Our vote for third place. And it is Fallout versus Mass Effect. Mass Effect obviously brought that one home. Yeah. Mass, yeah. Effect, Mass Effect annihilated. It got rank one by about fifteen votes. <laughs> wasn't oh, even wow. wasn't even close. Is this supposed like, to surprise me? No. I, I I wonder now after seeing the new Fallout and the new um and the, um, Mass Effect Andromeda, what's what people's reactions will be now. 
Yeah. Well, the what vote went. The same, what would be changing? Well, the vote went for all week, for the finals. It went from Monday right through it just closed. So, a couple of hours ago, I closed. I closed it. So, yeah. so, which one? Fallout or Mass Effect for number three? If Fallout had more sci-fi scenes than just Mothership Zeta, then maybe I would have given it a chance. <laughs> but come on, Mass Effect, big time. I'm gonna have to agree. Uh, I said, but like both these series, uh, absolutely in sta staples for a long time. Yeah. Okay, so this one is gonna kill you. Oh yeah. You know what I'm gonna say? Number one and number two, Kerbal or Coda? I'm actually but I'm guessing Kerbal won. I'm actually going Kerbal. Wait, I, wait, I, wait, whoa, whoa, whoa. Our, our official... <laughs> our official really Star like Wars guy Kerbal. is going against Star Wars. That should really tell you how good the game is. Kerbal is... I know how amazing. good Kerbal is. Um, Kerbal is, ama is an amazing ally. I think yeah. nothing it's effect at all. Yeah, Kerbal is effectively but NASA sim. Kerbal, you can do so like you have so much fun in it, and, it, and, and as I said once again, so much replayable in in Kerbals as well. Yeah, like the favorite thing I've managed to successfully make is a swim engine. <laughs> it's a, it's this. I managed to. This. Yeah, I glitched the ever loving crap out of the rocket boosters, so that they sort of did this weird swimming pattern, and as a result, even though they had no fuel, the swimming pattern still accelerated the ship. And last I saw, it was leaving the solar system in that game. I don't know where it's going, but it's going really fast at this point. Wow. So it's just, it's just up and leaving. <laughs> it's like, bye, have a great time. Yeah. It's like, I must leave, my planet needs me. Wah, 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 wah. <laughs> so, yeah. so we have one vote for KOTOR and one vote for Kerbal. Who hasn't voted? Uh, this is a hard decision. It's down to Sky. Oh, shite. Um, I played a shit ton of KOTOR back in my day. Like, back when I was really freaking young. It was bloody ridiculous. And Kerbal, I picked up once. But I'm even going to have to say Kerbal here as well. Okay, so the podcast rating is Kerbal is number one, KOTOR is number two, and Mass Effect is number three. Now let's have a look and see what the actual results were. I know I said them a minute ago. Um, <laughs> where is it? There it is. Apologies for the clicking sounds. I know it's annoying. But... <laughs> Clicky. Uh, where <laughs> is it? <laughs> there it is. Okay, so we have Mass Effect in number one, Fallout in number two, and Knights of the Old Republic in number three. That's how the fans voted. Which means it is literally the upside down version of what we had. So that is upside almost down. wow. That's that's <laughs> kind of hilarious. <laughs> so. Upside down, hurry up! Hurry up! Upside down. Anyway, moving away from Mr. Squiggle, and yes, when I get a sound drop board, I'm so putting upside down and hurry up on it. <laughs> <laughs> it's, it's I think the hurry up would be used on me a lot. Oh yeah, you have no idea. Um, so anyway, moving right along, we have, in the chat, nobody, yay. Hello nobody in the chat, we, we miss you all. Anyway, um, moving right along, we have Star Wars Rebels Season 2 Episode 1, so it's back from yep. hiatus, back to start Season 2, and does it not start with an ass kicking? Oh. It's... Yeah, it's worth watching. It really is. It really is, and there's a lot of there's a lot of feels. Yeah. <laughs> and Ahsoka's not so innocent anymore. Oh no, no. But it, it, she lies. Yeah. <laughs> Anakin taught her too well. <laughs> oh yeah. Um. So yeah. Um. So season two uh, kicked off, and it. Follows the event. Um, it follows the events of the end of season one. 
The so hell? the ghost is with the Rebel Alliance. Um. Yeah. Keep going. Sorry, I'm getting some weird feedback from somewhere. Okay. And um, th um, so they're on um, oh, what's the ship called? I just watched it. I've already forgotten. Yeah. Not the ghost. Not the ghost. The main ship. The the just call it the command ship thing. Yeah, I'll call it the command. They're on the command ship and they get um a distress call from the. I don't even know what her official rank is. Governor, somebody, rather. What's on target? What's the name? <laughs> uh, the, it's the chick, the really ditzy imperial leader. Chick. Mon Mothma. No, imperial, not rebellion. I have absolutely no idea. I haven't been keeping up with rebels. I, just, I basically, she's just a PA Grand Moth. person. She's no, she's just a she's just like a PA person so, or something. It's, 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 basically, she's Vader sort of threatened to kill her, and she wants to get out of the, and she wants to get away. Yeah, yeah. Vader I didn't necessarily fight. threaten to kill her. He's like, you guys have you guys suck catastrophically, and I'm coming in to sort this out. And she's like, well, I'm dead. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Dead so. forever. It's up Vader. Oh yeah. When it comes to that, I. When it comes, if I've got a pissed off Vader versus a nuclear missile that's about to explode, I'll take my chances with the nuke. Yeah. It'll be less yeah. painful. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. And you and you understand why as we explain this episode. So they organize to um pick her up in a in a vehicle, and guess who comes out of nowhere? Hi, Hello guys. Vader. I'll be right back. So so Vader decides to uh, have a nice little lightsaber. I'm not even gonna call it a lightsaber fight. It, it was an ass whooping. Yeah. No no no. no ass. ass it's my question. Ass. Kanan and, and Ezra and everyone else. Yeah. Calling it an <laughs> ass whooping who? against Vader, it just doesn't. It. It was one he of those almost, moments where he, he 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 almost made Ezra kill himself with his own lightsaber. We're using the Force. Yeah. It was brutal. It was so stupidly <laughs> one-sided. Anakin got dark. <laughs> Very yeah. dark. He, he effectively just walked in at level 90 against a group of level 5s and just went, and you're dead. That was effectively what happened. It just wasn't... It's just brutal as crap. Um, just steamrolled him. He wasn't even trying. It's like he was just like, eh. No, no, he was using a lightsaber with one hand. Like, he was going one-handed style. He wasn't using two hands. Yeah. It, it's sort of like Freezer versus... Two -handed zone? Two-handed zone? Two-handed one? That's the point. Yeah. Oh, God. So if he was... Yeah, put it this way. He was effectively Freezer, and they were effectively Krillin and Gohan. Oh, I was going to say they were Yamcha. <laughs> no, actually, well, no. Actually, no one died, so I guess. Well, actually, no. Cri no one died, so can't use the criminal one. Yeah. Well, <laughs> we'll go, we'll go Yamcha. Well, it, um, Kanan was effectively Krillin. He did get owned repetitively, so. But he didn't die. Yeah. Well, that that would have been a plot twist if that happened. <laughs> yeah. I think you had fans going, "Yay, he's dead." <laughs> yes. Yes, that useless bastard is finally gone. But I'd be surprised, I, a lot of people actually like Kanan. Yeah. Um, so the thing that got me was that Anakin has reached the point of insanity where he's talking about himself in the third person. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. So, uh, so yeah. He uh, was already there, dude. No, no, but this is really bad. Like, um, he senses Ahsoka, and then at the end of the episode, he's talking to, the, to um, Palpatine. And he's like, the apprentice of Anakin Skywalker still lives. Like, he doesn't say himself, he actually says Anakin Skywalker. Yeah, we all know he's been off the deep end for quite a while. Yeah, I, 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 I'd, say, I'd, say, I'd say, the, say the death of Padme didn't help very well. No. Neither has Palpy pulling the strings and, I don't know, bending him over every three days. I want to know where all these Sith Inquisitors are coming from. Who's yeah. training them? Yeah. Because there's, well, considering... be there's, there's meant to be another three Inquisitors this season. Yeah. It's like, okay, where are y'all getting trained at? Yeah. And what happens here between point. Rebels and A New Hope? Because, you know, an Inquisitor randomly rocking up and taking on Luke would have been fucking awesome! 
<laughs> well, we know one kicks the bucket in season one, so obviously something. I'm guessing a Soka probably kills one. Yeah. Yeah, we don't see any bat fighting with the Soka, unfortunately. We didn't get to see that yet. Yet. Oh. I say yet because we know it's going to happen. Yeah, <laughs> exactly. So. Oh, yeah. She, she, yeah, she's reaching out with the Force, trying to find out who Vader is. She finds out it's Anakin, and then and then and then Ezra's like, "Do you know who he is?" She, and she blatantly says, "No." She's like, "Nope, I have no idea." <laughs> it's like, "You lie. You know it's Anakin." Yeah. It's like she doesn't really? want to doesn't want to admit the guy that she uh, that trained her is, went evil. Yeah, that trained her went evil, and she's still pretty much crushing on him too. Yeah. So I'd probably say so. She probably assumed that he died during the the slaughter. Yeah, uh, what I actually would love to see um, come out of season two is something with Obi Wan. I, I, like it'd be just just a little something. Like I know we have we've got Rex, we've got Ahsoka. Why can't we have why can't we have Obi Wan come out out come out hiding? That'd be pretty cool. But the problem is he's effectively Luke's bodyguard while being miles and miles away. So yeah, but I like how mm. they described Vader. That was really cool. I'm sensing co something cold and absent. It's like They've always said, I've said, I sense the dark side, but they've never actually described what sensing the dark side felt like. And, you uh, want to know the best description I've ever ha had of sensing the dark side was. Maybe walking into a room? <laughs> <laughs> no. Cat no. walking into a room? Yes. That's getting pretty close. <laughs> Uh, that is getting pretty damn close. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway, I'm definitely... But no, uh, apparently, from the best description I've heard, is it was like having a swim in a sewer while getting electrocuted. Ooh. But that's what I call Friday. <laughs> <laughs> anyway... So I'm, actually, I'm really looking forward to the rest of season two of Rebels. I had mixed feelings I, about I season have... one. I'm still not too sure about overall how it's going to go. I still but... have I still have the same criticism I have about season one. The lightsabers look like sticks. Yeah. <laughs> they didn't fix them up. They look. They don't look like. They don't even look like swords. They just look like tweaks. <laughs> Like, yeah. laser tweaks. Yeah, the, well, look at Rebels. They didn't necessarily look like swords either. Actually, you want to know what would be really cool? Is if at the end of Rebels, they have a tie-in to episode... The next one. What's the next one? Seven? Episode seven. That would be cool. Isn't Rebels supposed to bridge the gap between clones... Three and between, four. Yeah. Three, three and four. four. But what How I mean... Gonna have a t it, unless, we, can't... unless it mentions Jakku. It could mention Jakku somewhere. No, no, no. As in that mystery lightsaber. Oh, the the cross card. Oh yeah. no, that'll probably get explained. Yeah. So it's like Ezra is having a pistol lightsaber. Go back, go back a little while, and that's just like, oh my god, that's blasphemy. And now that everyone's like, oh my god, that's awesome. Uh, don't forget who started the uh, weird lightsaber designs. Dooku. Hell no, Ch predates Dooku. Well it's just like long before Dooku. Um, no, no, no. Weird lightsaber design goes can be traced back to the old um, ages of the Sith. Not just that, but in the more recent variants, can be traced back to Neja Halcyon. Uh, for those who have no idea what the hell you're talking about, can you say that again in English? <laughs> Neja, Neja Halcyon. He's a he's a Corellian Jedi who um. Has a habit of making lightsabers out of whatever he finds lying lying around. The one he was using when he was killed by Vader was made out of the handlebar of a speeder bike. Well, that's different. <laughs> I got to admit that's pretty cool. That is pretty cool. Oh, he's back. <laughs> yeah, I've been back for a little while. I've just got it dinner at the same time, yeah. ah. so I've been like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Um. As I said, int int I'm intrigued to see how they're going to bring Rex and the um, clones into it. 
Because we know that because we know they're in it because the trailer that was released back during Star Celebration shows Rex and the clones. Yeah. The question: Are they good guys or bad guys? I can't. Ah, uh, they're good. They're good. No, no, because they they're on a Soka side. They so basically they're the clones that took up the chip the chip so or, they don't listen to Order sixty six. No, oh, okay. Oh yeah, that's right. There was a heap of them at the end of um, Clone Wars. That sort of when they discovered the chip in the um, released online episodes, they sort of took him out. Yeah. Rex and, and Rex and his band were, were were one of them. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, which then be- which then begs the question: How did they escape? I would love love to I would love to see something on how they get out. They'll probably explain that. Yeah. Also, where does the circuit get her materials for the lightsabers? What would be <laughs> really cool is if they stole a Jedi cruiser in the process. Well, you see, it, you see uh, it in the you mean tra- the Venator class? Yeah, a Venator. You see, you see in the trailer they have the Clone Wars um uh, walker. Yeah. Not the chicken walker, like the big four-legged AT-AT yeah, and it, walker and with the top of the modif- giant turret on it. And they've modified yeah. it into like a walking house. It's so funny. <laughs> yeah. I remember that now. So I'm like, okay, first off, how did they get that? Second off, how did they get it to that planet? <laughs> yeah, yeah, where's the ship that goes with it? Mm. Bet you it was a Lando. <laughs> oh, God. King Lando. Mystical force portals. Actually, the cool thing with um with uh, Darth Vader, actually, is that they actually got... um I'm going to get his name wrong, and I'm going to get airlock. Just airlock me now. Okay. He's gone. He, he wanted to be airlocked. He's been airlocked. Okay, moving right along. We are moving on to E3. So, no oh, good thing I came All back. All right, <laughs> that was quick. Still got back in the airlock. Damn it! I've really got to get rid of changing the codes to keep these guys locked out for longer. It's because you're gonna stop making a one, two, three, four. <laughs> but then you then you miss us, and that how that would be bad. How no, am I meant to remember a code that's not one, two, three, four? It's too complicated. <laughs> Space Wolf reference. Yeah. Actually, it's one, two, three, four, five. But yeah, same difference. Space Wolf reference. So yes, uh, moving on to E3. So, past week E3 for 2015 came and come and gone with a bang. Yeah. I briefly oh, went yeah. to a bang the size uh, of a pit boy that crashed the fucking internet <laughs> and got so sold out within 24 did. hours. It got. It got. <laughs> no, it didn't get sold out in 24 hours. It got sold out in two hours. They went, oh, oh yeah. shit, the demand for this is insane. Let's make some more. And they got sold out in oh, half man. an hour. <laughs> it's like, I'm never going to get one. I would lo- it's like The cool thing is because we is know it? It's cos- the co- with cosplayers, you know they're going to use them. <laughs> well, see, the cool thing Oh, yeah. Uh, one of our friends... Yeah, I want one just for that purpose. One of our friends, Elroy. Guess who got Doc. one? Wait, Elroy got- and Doc got one? Yeah. Really? Oh, I'm going to yep. kill Elroy. You're kidding me. I'm gonna yeah. kill Elroy. Well, Elroy got one for Doc his missus. Doc didn't even make it to the end. Doc actually left work in the middle of the day to get to an EV to and get... order one before they went. Bye bye. I went into that EV that morning at nine o'clock, and they were sold out. Because I picked up Jurassic yeah. World the same day. <laughs> I woke hmm. up in the morning and, and is that the I Lego Jurassic a... World? Yeah, the Lego Jurassic <laughs> World. It's <awesome. laughs> so funny. Um, anyway, I woke up in the morning to a Stuart on Skype just foaming at the mouth going oh, big boy oh, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, I, yeah. and I'm like what the <laughs> hell are you going on about whatever just ignored him he, he was fairly unconscious after spending all of E3 up in the wrong yeah yeah so he was a little bit a little bit comatose and I assumed he was... <laughs> a little I lost track of uh, what day it was Wednesday I assumed that he was just making up words at that point. I was like, whatever. Went down to E3 and there was a guy yelling at the dude behind the counter at ten past nine because all the pit boys were sold out. And my first thought was, what did I wait, miss? So, wait, wait, wait. Someone was actually yelling at him? Oh, you he can't... was. He was <laughs> pissed. Oh, wow. Oh, my God. I'm sorry. I, I always find that stuff hilarious. So. It's like... It's like... It's, a, it's like, you haven't even been open for ten minutes and you're already sold out. What sort of joke is this? I'm like, wow, guy, you're at 11. You need to be at like a two. <laughs> <laughs> Nerd rage is real. Yeah. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm because what? I just realized like, this. It's like, it's like for the love of crumb cake, jump on eBay. There'll be at least a thousand on there for at least $2,000 oh, yeah. each. 
Oh yeah, if they, yeah. Scalpers will resell them for sure. Oh yeah. Unfortunately, it was announced at about eleven and or oh, twelve o'clock, going towards one. Yeah. And then was pretty much sold out that gone. night. Gone. Yeah. yeah. It was gone by seven o'clock that night. Elroy was up. He heard yeah. the announcement. He ordered it within. I I, five I, minutes. I was up. I, I, I was and me me and Sky were watching. We were like, what the hell? Yeah. My even. Even oh, yeah. my little you're, brother you're, got the day off to watch it. Want to know the best part? And this is the icing on the hilarious cake. Oh, it no. only works for Android phones. Really? Um, I, what? Yes. No. Yes. Oh, and that's yep. cool. <laughs> Apple phones are too thin. They they won't stay in there. Huh. That's why they are, they um got that's pads that's diff- to like no, no, I mean, make I mean, that difference. I mean, from the width. The width of the phone is not wide enough to sit snugly in the little screen area. It's designed yeah. specifically for the Samsung Galaxy. Huh. Oh. Wow. And that is why okay. I have a Galaxy. So. Eh. See, I, I mean, I'm I'm bummed I'm not getting it, but I'm not, like, crazy mad about it. Yeah. I knew I probably wasn't going to get one. Well, I, I was just said wishful thinking. I wouldn't mind getting one and putting it on my shelf with my other nerd gear, but I never really played Fallout, so it's... Like, It'd be a waste said, for like, me to have co- it. Cosplayers are going to go mental for that. Oh yeah, come, come, Oz Comic Con or Supernova or whenever the the next one is after that comes out, it's no, going to be insane. Yeah, it'll be Supernova. It'll be Supernova because it comes. Uh, oh, yeah. yeah. Actually, no. Uh, oh no, no, yeah, no. It will be Supernova. Yeah, it come does come out before Prison Over. Make your mind up. <laughs> I had to think of dates in my head yeah. for a second. Going, that's the release date. That's yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh yeah, speaking. It won't be Oz Comic Con. Speaking of cons really quick, didn't Rooster Teeth have an announcement? RTX Australia. Oh, yeah. RTX um, Australia. Wow, I'm no, getting lots cool. of echo from somewhere. I'm going to blame Stuart because I can. Probably. Probably. And he's gone. He's out the airlock again. So, Sky, tell us about RTX Sydney. Uh, I haven't heard exactly where it is, but let's look oh, it up. Where- Oh, I know where it is. It is at the Australian Technology Park in Sydney. Okay. Who, who let you back in? Scarecrow? <laughs> Are you letting him back in? I have a hey, lightsaber that buttons. can cut through any metal. Yeah. I'll it make can we, cut we need through to a fix blast that. door. I'll, I'll make it out of can't cut through this mantium. Let's see what it is. <laughs> so, yeah, no, it is at the Australian Technology Park it's in Sydney. And it is on the 23rd and 24th of January next year. Which is going to be awesome. And if my work gave time out of time off over January, which it doesn't, I would definitely be there. I want to try. I, I want to go. Like, I really, really. Like, me and my friend are already planning. Like, we're like, I can't get the VIP ticket, but I'm going to get like a normal pass and we're going to try and bunk together and stuff. So Nice. Well, see, my parents mm. live only like three hours drive from Sydney. So two hours drive, depending on traffic. Six hours drive to Pentagon traffic. That's <laughs> not bad. It's actually, actually a really funny thing with um, RTX. The guys, on, um, because Rooster Teeth were at E3, they kind of accidentally said where it was. They kind of said there was a January when they weren't meant to because they thought everyone knew already down here. Whoopsie. <laughs> and, everyone, and like all um, like Rooster Teeth is like the official Australia fan base. Yeah. Uh, for Rooster Teeth fans, and I was like, "Hey, did they mention that uh, that RTX is in January?" And then we go through all, and, and it's like, uh, Ber- "Bernie said it, um, Adam from Funhouse said it, uh, Aaron who voices Blake, and um, <laughs> Ruby said it." It's like, "Oh wow, they, they they just don't care." No, they really don't. We should know that by now. Uh, yeah, it's just yeah. See, also, uh, two they guests love their uh, two... Yeah. Oh yes, yes, and two guests have been confirmed. Uh, Barbara is coming back. Nice. Of as course. well as Gus. As well as Gus. Gus is the voice of Sarge mm. in Reverse Blue. Yes. What? I want Joel to come over. So we, we can oh, just sorry, do Sarge? Sarge? Whoa. No, I was going to say. Oh, wow, he's, um... I'm going. Goodbye. He's, he's... It... Yeah. I don't Gus. Think... Okay, I'm going to forgive Stuart for being retarded this week because I don't think his brain has recovered since E3 right. last week. And I don't think <laughs> no. it'll ever recover because it's Stuart. <laughs> no. And, and Stuart, it's Simmons. Yeah, I Simmons. was meant to say Simmons. <laughs> How do I get to Sarge? How do you I get to Sarge? 
<laughs> I guess because I, I really want... want to meet the voice of Sarge. I want Joel so we can have Caboose, damn it. Oh, yes. Well, actually, me and my friend Speaking, speaking of which, um... did you see the video where Joel was, um, had a tame a dinosaur? And oh, it's, oh, it's just, it sounds like Caboose <laughs> running around an Ark Survival Evolved going, <laughs> yeah. Punch a dinosaur, punch a dinosaur, punch a dinosaur, punch a dinosaur. Oh no, it that's died. Just, that's Run over Joel, here, Joel... punch a dinosaur, punch a dinosaur, punch a dinosaur. So that's funny. because Joel's voice actually is Caboose. Like, he doesn't ha he doesn't change it. That's his actual voice. I know, that's the best part. <laughs> and the way that I'm he actually, does it, I'm it just sounds Joel. so much like Caboose. I've actually uh, met Joel, he's really funny. Yeah. I want um I want Gavin and Jeff to come out come down. I so want Je Gavin and Jeff to come down. Yeah. Yeah. Or especially Gavin, so then we can give him some wet bread. <laughs> Hashtag leaving that the fuck alone. Anyway, do you e not know e what that means? E three. E three. Yeah, yeah, back to E three. So, yeah, yeah, yeah. so, so, yeah, let's ignore the, the vomiting the... Gavin and move back to E three. <laughs> so, yeah, uh, but there's the broke the internet. <laughs> oh yeah, especially with um going straight off with Doom. Yeah. Oh. I gotta say this. There might be controversy with people saying, "Oh, it's too slow," but really, that was it's freaking beautiful. beautiful. Yeah. Especially all the all the um they call them um killing strikes, but face it, they're fatality half of them are fatalities. <laughs> half of them are fatalities. Most of them were inspired from Brutal Doom. Of course. Yeah. I just like it I, how like, ser yeah. seriously when he did when he did the snap the foot off and stab him and beat him in the head, all all that went through my head was fatality. <laughs> That's all that went through my head. Yeah. Oh yeah. And it just kept going over and over and over again. So they showed two <coughs> gameplay levels. Uh, one I was some sort of ship. They didn't give a specification. I couldn't find anything on what the ship was. The other was Hell. Mm. Oh, hell, yeah. Hell looked gorgeous. Hell looked amazing. Actually, I've... There was a few references in Hell. They were saying afterwards in the, pre in the post show. Um, everyone saw the pinky. Everyone yeah, saw the pinky, pinky demon. The pinky. pinky. I mean, come brain, on. Brain, 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 brain. Sorry. If you did not see that invisible pinky's like glistening effect, yeah, I, I will say rewatch that whole damn thing again. Yeah. Mm. yeah I... They and so they also sh they also released a a trailer um later on throughout the week. And it mm. actually shows it actually shows the BFG being used against Doom. Oh, nice! Against the Cyber Demon, yeah. No, no, no! Against Doom, the 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 big they actually refer to him as Doom, like the you know at the end of the hell how he comes down. It's the big guy. Yeah, that's actually Doom. They refer to him as Doom, like they've called him Doom. But come on, he's a Cyber Demon. I know. <laughs> right from but... the get go. That's his class. He's a cyber demon. He's a big I'm still calling him cyber demon. He's a big ass cyber demon. He's doom already. Yeah, but they showed the BFG and it's, and it's like, oh, that's a new BFG. Oh <laughs> it's yeah, it's a case of going, oh my. Yeah. They've oh, taken yeah. the ten thousand model and bumped that up to like twenty thousand. <laughs> can we can we call yeah. it the R BFG, the really big gun? <laughs> yeah, well, I'm not for sure it's a gun anymore. I think it's a, I think it's a mini Mac cannon. Yeah, that works. Yeah. Well, a considering that Mac this version cannon. of Doom is essentially uh, Halo meets Hell. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Maybe with a double jump, but I wasn't no. expecting it to be as glory as gory as I as, when I first watched it. I was watching. Like, oh I yeah. Knew, I was just like, oh, what? This is a lot more gory than I expected. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I was like, well, this, so I was like, this is... Though. I was like, well, this is clearly not a kid's game. The, well, the, the first thing that went through my head was, this is clearly not your mother's doom. Yeah. <laughs> One of the uh, original quotes from the trailers. Yeah. <sighs> So moving along to after Doom. Um, what was after that? Yeah, Sci-fi wise. Ow. Uh, I 
I can't no. think of. Okay, yeah, let's just yeah. move on to the stuff that um, really yeah, blew us away. Cl- let's just cliff notes this thing. Um, yeah, for I me, the blew- highlights would have to be the Hololens. Oh, that was that was my- awesome. I watched that, and my first thought was, if I'm playing Homeworld, and I've got that thing, and I could zoom around my ships and stuff with it, I think I'm gonna jizz a little. Oh, <laughs> like, was, oh was guys, little. I don't need to know oh. about your problems with keeping it in the pants. Hang on, hang on, hang on. <laughs> it's a whole the problem is I'm gonna pre-order little... the damn thing the moment I can. <laughs> yeah, was... I, I I'd agree with you there. I, I, I pre-order it. Blur- I was blown away. Like yeah. I, I was. I, I'm still in shock of what it is. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> I yeah. was just like, what the hell? And Sky, like, in, in, in my face, I was like, what the frig? What What am I watching? Like, I thought I was hallucinating because I was so tired. Yeah. Yeah. Turns, out, yeah. turns out they just, turns out Microsoft managed to break the internet as well. Yeah, yeah E3 each year tends to be one internet breaking issue after another. With Gary behind the, the the one that keeps control of the little <laughs> blinky box that Damn has it, the Gary. internet light, he is constantly having to fix the internet. <laughs> and those who don't know what the reference is to the internet box or the blinky light, watch the IT crowd. Damn it! <laughs> so uh, keeping on sci-fi with Microsoft, we got to see some Halo Five campaign footage. That yeah, that was nice. Oh yeah, it looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm surprised I didn't have Sky going over that. Oh, I was. Going oh, I was too busy going blah, 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 over Doom, man. Like, come on. <laughs> yes, I've True. been keeping up with Hunt the Truth, but Hunt the Truth's been its own little story off on the side, which is, like, kind of different for the Halo universe. Yeah. Hmm. And then yeah. we've got the ultimate internet breaker. This didn't just break the internet. This no, broke this everything. This, nothing survived the announcement of the Pit Boy. It, it broke no. EB Games, <laughs> it broke game, it broke everything. Nothing Fallout worked. Fallout 4. Fallout 4 broke everything. Yeah. And my yeah. little brother's even going, like, straight after it. He's like, I think he shared one of the um, pictures that was put up. And it's like, um, it's that opening for Fallout 4. And then it's got the guy, the Vault uh, Tech guy coming up onto the door is like, do you have a um, moment of time for our Lord and Savior, Todd Howard? <laughs> Todd Howard. <laughs> like, come on. Todd Howard see, see, made I, his way around everywhere. See, I think the oh, only yeah. reason the world survived the announcement of the Pit Boy and Fallout 4 is because the Doctor happened to be here just at the right moment to Sonic things. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think you need all 13, and, he's, and we're just in a stasis cube. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> No, we're just yeah. all stuck in, stuck inside a um, a time recurring picture, like yeah, yeah, that, that picture. Yeah. Like I, I'm yeah, gonna say this now. Lock. I'm gonna say this That's now. It. This year and next year for game is gonna be the two biggest years ever. Yeah. I, oh um, yeah. You got Halo like Five the, coming out later this year. You've got. Uh, uh, Fallout Four coming out later this year. Yeah. And because uh, you've they're all got... trying to, they're all trying to capitalize on the same holiday season, so they're all coming out <laughs> yeah. almost the same bloody day. It's, it's, like, it's like Fallout Four, a day before Skyrim was la- uh, last few couple of years. Yeah. Actually, um, uh, what is it that there are being that's being launched the same? I think it's Tomb Raider, the new Tomb Raider, and Fallout Four being launched on the same day. I'm like, oh, rip Tomb Raider. Yeah. Bye. Yeah. <laughs> Sorry, Tomb Raider, you have no chance in hell. Yeah. Nothing. Although I do, I would like to play Rise of the Tomb Raider. That oh, yes, nice. Super awesome. Uh, moving on with Microsoft. Sort of keeping on sci-fi a bit, we got some Gears of War news. That was pretty cool. Oh, yeah, the Gears of War news. Yep, so we've um, got the Gears of War Ultimate Edition, which is Gears coming, 1, 2, and 3. Coming to both Xbox One and da 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 PC. Yes, so they announced during the PC uh, gaming uh, panel that um, just, that the just ultimate out of edition... curiosity. How many people were watching the PC gaming panel? Two. There was um, actually, actually, there was a uh, fair amount, of people, but it was boring. It was horrible. Well, like that. I, so what you're saying I, I, I is so the busy. ones that covered the consoles were all exciting and flashy, and the ones that covered the PC games were boring. 
That oh, really it was, sounds it... like how the consoles are marketed and how the PCs marketed to me. <laughs> yeah. Also Basically. coming up on um on um console and PC is No Man's Sky. Now th- this that... was a looks beautiful. It was a indie. It is a indie game that was being that is being made, but it is gigantic. Yeah. And by gigantic, we mean like, uh, what the entire flipping universe? They yeah, are trying so to make. Shows... So it shows off, um, it's a, it's a, you know, like the games like Elite Dangerous and, um, and, uh, oh, what's the other one? The other big flying ship game. Star Made? Uh, that, that was similar. That was like yeah. Minecraft anyway, version. Uh, it, it, it's, a sh- it's a, it's a flight, si- it's a ship simulator, but you fly in outer space and you go visit different parts and stuff. Nice. So you sell on your ship, it shows the galaxy map. It's like, okay, let's zoom out a little bit. So, so it shows and the zoom out a little bit more, and a little bit more, and a little bit more. Then they say this: each one of those dots is a single solar system. I, I, there had to have been about fifty different dots, maybe more, that you could 50? see on screen. I'm pretty sure I saw more than fifty. Maybe, maybe near a hundred. Like it was ridiculous how big it is. Wow. You, oh yeah. All I you, want to you, know is, can I fly the Galactica into a sun? <laughs> Probably not. Maybe. Is it a PC? Is it a PC? Have... Is it a PC it's a, game? It's a PS4 and PC game. So it's a PC game. Therefore, there will be mods. Therefore, make Galactica. Damn it! <laughs> yes. Yeah, someone will mod it. <laughs> mod the hell out of it. <laughs> it was it was a really awesome mod to see because I saw it last year and I was really hyped for it, and I'm really, really hyped for it now. Yeah. So yeah, but moving uh, back to Gears, uh, we got to see Gears of War four. Yes, Gears and 4. And it was boring. Uh, oh. It was okay. <laughs> I'll admit, I'll admit I'll when admit, I was going I'm just baiting them just to see how you react, to be honest. I'll, it, I'll admit, I was, going, I was watching and going, where the hell is Marcus? <laughs> and I, yeah. was also going, I was also going, geez, Sarah went to hell after Jacinto. Because <laughs> they, yeah. they refer to it as Sarah. Ooh. Pretty much. Like, I honestly was not moved by it. I mean, it looked like every other Gears of War, maybe a new enemy or such, but that was it. Yeah, It didn't just, feel look, like anything. At least, to be fair, we did get to see the, the, uh, the nostalgia of the, uh, of the uh, Chainsaw Lancer come back. Oh yeah, the Chainsaw Lancer. Nothing beats a good Chainsaw Lancer. No, yeah. oh, that's true. A, a golden uh, one. Beats it though. I don't think Microsoft anymore sci fi after that. I don't believe. No, I don't believe they did either. No, so moving along to EA. And we all know what EA had. Not DLC this year. Yeah, there was no. Okay, okay uh, uh, not DLC. There was, there was a mention of the new um, Old Republic expansion. There was nothing on DLC though. Not one game mentioned DLC. That's good because yeah. It's like it's, it's EA. Like, EA is yeah, like here. You, what, you, what you used to get was a burger. Now yeah, you I'm, get a bun, and you have to buy <laughs> all the bits and pieces separately as DLC to buy the. Cool I was shocked. Burger. I'm like, wait, wait, wait. EA not doing DLC? What on earth is going on? <laughs> wait, EA's a good guy now. No. <laughs> Spend way too long on the sports. Way too long. That's yes, because that's where oh, all the yeah. money comes from now. It's like, by the way, this is the same game we've released for the past 15 years. It's just got one new person in it and slightly just, better I, graphics. So it's like, uh, actually, actually, no, I can't say Nintendo anymore because the graphics haven't gone up that much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Pretty much. It's like, if, yeah. if you look at the cheapo bin in any game shop anywhere in the world, there is always an entire column <laughs> Of there's a FIFA, there's games. an NHL, there's a Madden somewhere. Yeah, no, no, there's columns of them. Yeah, it's just oh, like yeah. Two, two or three columns worth in yeah. general in Australia. Yeah, yeah, but we in all get... honesty, we just don't give a fuck about that those sports. Yeah, yeah. but we did get to see the Peace de la Resistance, Star Wars Battlefront. And oh yeah, it was crap. <laughs> you're really son of shot flame wars aren't you <laughs> it it ba- I think just from my experience it just looked like a souped up version 
of two with space battles on land. It looks nice and beautiful, yep. but it's just, it looks like the same game. Yeah, it, it, it looks spectacular. The only question I've got is, the version they showed is normally the PC version, not the console version. Uh, no, they showed the PS4 version. They didn't ah, show PC. That's good. That actually said at the beginning of the trailer, this gameplay is from a PlayStation 4. That is the PlayStation 4 version. Excellent. So because that is tend, what you... They going, tend to cheat when it comes to, to those sort of things. And it's like, that, that looks spectacular to, you put into the Xbox. Oh my god, am I playing a Nintendo 64? No, that is what you are going to get consoles. Nice. I, I, I personally want... I actually personally want to get this for PC because I did play the others on PC. So this is just a personal thing. I have nothing against consoles. The consoles are cool. It's going to be amazing either way. Yes. Yeah. Well, just a random note on games on PC. I've been playing Ark Survival Evolved, and it's awesome moving right along. <laughs> Have you got your Raptor Squad train? Yet? Um, <laughs> I've got two Spinosaurs, a Brontosaur, three Stegosaurs, half a dozen Pterodactyls, um, half a dozen Dilophosaurs. The only thing I haven't found to tame that I know of is... I haven't got a Megalodon somewhere. I'm not exactly sure where I left that. <laughs> it's in the water somewhere. Um, the only thing I haven't found to tame is raptors because there's normally more than one and it's a pain in the ass to put one down let alone six and they generally one or two hit you the best trick I've found is you just walk over to them with the Spinosaurus and eat them mm. then we move along to um, Ubisoft yes and this is... now Ubisoft didn't disappoint either no they you... didn't but like, their... you... I'll admit their highlight was the meme guy <laughs> hoop god Oh, wait, oh, no, no, that was EA. You're talking about the that Assassin's Creed guy. Yeah, the Assassin's Creed guy. That was the highlight. Big, big time. <laughs> so everyone was like, what do you want to come out of EA? It's like, we want Hoop God. I was like, oh, God. So, so many memes were made this year. The, the, oh, my, yeah. fav- my favorite announcement from Ubisoft, new South Park game. Yeah, and it's going to be superheroes as opposed to fantasy. Yes, so I won't say the title. I won't say the title on stream. It's not appropriate. <laughs> Let's just say it's hilariously well, awesome. Thank you. If you uh like write it out, <laughs> no, then... it, it doesn't. It's not right. You have to say it. <laughs> but I'm yeah. not gonna. I know Sky deals. I'm very thrilled on. He was like, "Oh God, why?" I was just like, <laughs> "Well, I never really yeah. finished the Stick of Truth, so." And I know it's a I didn't even sequel to want it. to finish the Seek of Truth. I didn't even want to start the bloody game. Yeah, well, <laughs> it, it, again, it just falls down to me and RPGs. It's just I'm not much of an RPG person. I don't know See, why. I, it's just something I don't like. I grew up on RPGs. I grew up on JRPGs. I grew up on RPGs. I, I love that genre. So. Yeah. Yeah. Anyway. Moving along, and then... Ah, uh, Sony! Sony! Oh god, how did I forget Sony? Because it's Sony. Sony yeah. Sony pull, pulled out some sh- some uh, interesting titles that I weren't expecting. We finally have The Last Guardian. Yeah. Yes. Yes, The Last Guardian. Yeah. And if you Looks think interesting. That, I was like, and if you didn't think that was going to break the internet, here's the one that really broke the internet. Final Fantasy VII Shen- Remake. Yeah. Oh yeah, the remake. <laughs> that, that was beautiful. Really broke the internet. Oh, the memes that came from that. Oh yes. And can I just say, they had better do cross-dressing cloud justice. <laughs> <laughs> Dave's just like what? I'm just more like. I already know. <laughs> and you want to know the best thing about it? For years, Danny, the head of Supernova, has been running a campaign to ban cross-dressing clouds. I know. <laughs> so he can't. It's actually going to be canon. It was yeah. canon in seven anyway. Actually, the funny thing actually about uh, someone that almost got didn't get loaded into Supernova, a guy um cosplayed as Mr. Popo. <laughs> oh god! <laughs> it literally he, he and this is like he took photos like he pulled up started saying I was Mr. Popo and he's and, it, and and he actually said I almost didn't get let in they thought I was going to be too offensive I was like really guys it's hey. Mr. Popo come on hey, if, 
It's Mr. Popo, and the only way that could possibly be funnier is if he was touring around with Jinx. <laughs> no, he wasn't, but he, it, it did look really cool. Mm. Well, yeah, um, so yeah, Sony had those, uh, New, No Man's Sky, uh, Shenmue, th- uh, Shenmue 3 got a Kickstarter, which got completed in, I think, maybe about 12 hours. It had a 2 million oh, Kickstarter. Given that, yeah, given that. It was it had a two million Kickstarter. I think it got I think it got funded in about two about twelve hours flat. Give or t- maybe give or take ten minutes. Yeah. <laughs> On top of that, um, it's also being supported by Sony. Yes, so it's so, going to be. Beautiful. Either way, they were going to release it. I guess they just, they just wanted to see if, if people, people wanted actually, the damn game. Yeah, and I actually played Shenmue One and Two, so I'm really looking forward to Three. Then I... I never got around to it. Then we move on to Nintendo. Star Fox Zero. Okay, yeah. I'll, I'll start. I'll start with the positives. Star, new Star Fox looks amazing. Yeah. And, yeah. And we are it forms. It turns into a chicken walker. Oh god. <laughs> I, I, seriously, I saw a transform. I'm like, wait, chicken walker? Really? <laughs> We're going Chicken Walker now? Oh, and listen, Nintendo, can you so please cool. come up with something slightly original? Just once. Uh, well, actually, it would be nice. There new, actually, there they is did. a new original. It's called Mario. <laughs> <laughs> actually, it did. It's new... called Splatoon, guys. Come it's on. A, it's not funny. Mario Splatoon. has a longer dossier of jobs than half <laughs> of the people on the Earth combined. <laughs> I know, poor guy's been pl- been around for thirty. Oh yeah, this is they they did go over the fact that Mario's been around for thirty years. Wow. Oh, of course, it was the thirtieth anniversary this year. Yeah, I believe. Yes, yes, it was. Oh, great, this year. he's almost as old as I am. I still do not like. I still don't like the puppets. I thought they were weird. I, the only thing I liked about the puppets was when um. <laughs> Me and <Bodo's> Reggie room. <laughs> and Reggie are. Uh, was like in his room, and he's like Nintendo sixty two. I mean, those yeah, are the corniest. By the way, push yeah, ups. He's, he's doing push ups. He's like Nintendo sixty two, Nintendo sixty three, Nintendo sixty four, and then stops. <laughs> I was like, okay, my puppet body is ready. <laughs> uh, not not much. And then um, Oh, what's his room? Me and Moto's room was just hilarious. This is like oh, so much Nintendo stuff, and he comes out of a pipe going, I'm already. Yeah. I was yeah, like, oh, me. Much. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, a couple of couple of interesting titles. Uh, new uh, new Metroid game coming up for the 3DS. Has nothing to do with Samus. <laughs> At all. At all. At all. Wow, that's like making a Mad Max movie where Mad Max isn't the main character. Huh, I wonder when that happened. Oh, great. <sighs> what, what, not subtle enough? <laughs> <laughs> uh, so this is a. You know, interesting... I'd actually like to see a Metroid game done properly without focusing on Samus. Yeah, no, this isn't done properly don't, at all. Don't worry. <laughs> so, yeah, there this is a the problem. This looks more fun than... Yeah. Proper Metroid. So just go through a couple of interesting titles. This caught my eye. A- Amiibo Skylanders. Oh, what, what? oh, for the love of mother. So Nintendo have teamed up with Skylanders, and Donkey Kong and Bowser are in, are, are in Skylanders. But they've made their Skylander um, figure uh, switchable on the bottom, so it can also be an Amiibo as well. So it's a two and one. So you've got Magma, Bowser, and. Uh, what was Donkey Kong again? Uh, something banana. It was r- ridiculous. <laughs> yeah, but either way, come on, way, Magma silly. Bowser. Yeah, there's a new I... Bowser, basically. I'm just. It's not that I'm currently lost for words. It's like my brain shut down about five minutes ago <laughs> when you said Nintendo. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Anyway, move, moving along, move. we've, we've got to start the news really soon because we're running out of show, so. Yeah, uh, quickly moving along to Square Enix. So we got oh to <laughs> No, Square Enix had really cool stuff actually. So yeah, we had... they did. So we got uh, Kingdom Hearts three. Thank you. We got a uh, new gameplay as well as a sort of a trailer in the middle of it with looks to be young as uh, young Xehanort and a young Master Ericus from um, Birth by Sleep, and they're playing chess. Okay. 
And um, the chest figures is 13 black pieces, which is the 13 darknesses, and 7 white, which is the 7 heroes of light. You read yeah. way too much into this, don't you? Yeah. Mm, make a choice. Then we have um, a Kingdom Hearts mobile game coming out called Unchained, which ties into Kingdom Hearts 3 somehow. I don't know how. Because magic! Uh, we got uh, got to some, uh, look at uh, new Deus Ex. Looks amazing. Oh, yeah. Did we see anything on the new Just Cause? That was the first thing out. Yeah, that was the first thing out, yeah. They just had a whole bunch of trailers and it just looks... It, it's it's Just Cause. It, it's what it does. Yeah. Blow, blow, blow me up grappling hooks. I'm already sold. Oh, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Anyway, it's about time we move on to the news because I've only got a couple of minutes left, so... A little bit of news. On top of the E3 news, which is spectacularly insane. I think the biggest one is Jurassic World broke all of the everythings. It just Not did... only did it break the internet, it broke the box office, it broke the projectors, and in a couple of cases <laughs> yeah. here in Brisbane, it, it, the seats. It absolutely it was crazy. Yeah. Just it... That's a shout out to put you, it, Tim. Put, put it this way. The... It broke the record so bad that Marvel actually drew the T-Rex holding Thor's hammer and said, you win. <laughs> so, wow. Yeah. Wow. So, um, we, got, we got some news on where if we could have a Hulk movie happening. Not going to happen. No. Hulk has no. never been a standalone character very well. It's effectively a guy who's a lunatic doing his best not to go crazy. And then turning into a green thing and breaking everything anywhere near him. He's always been yep. a joke character. He's always been a support character. So don't get me wrong. He's a good character. Just oh yeah, he's he's a good character. Without now, if you're going to do a Hulk movie, the only way I can really see it being done probably is either coupled with Spidey, which will never happen. That would be. Or cool. Hulk versus Iron Man. Hmm. Yeah, I want to do a quick little shout out to Afterlife. It is an Indiegogo campaign about a sci-fi film that takes place in a holographic interactive graveyard. It has been fully funded. Nice. So, yeah. It wanted uh, 2,000 uh, US dollars. It is currently at $2,170. Very nice. So, awesome to get to see uh, more in uh, indie films getting some love. Yep. That'll be cool. Mm-hmm. Uh, Chris Pratt is 36, CA. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um... <laughs> The sci the sci fi museum in Hollywood is looking for screen use props. So if you've got some, hit them up. Let them know. Yeah, I don't really have anything. Yeah. Um, Hugh Jackman is confirmed to be in X Men Apocalypse, which you kind of all really knew, but yeah. and it's official. Tilk would beat but... Jane in a versus, according to <laughs> according to yes. Freddie Delavelle. Win. See, and I actually agree with this. Not that I have anything against the character, I just don't like him, yeah. the actor itself. But Tilk is just, just too much of a badass for Jane, I'm sorry. Right, really Tilk is just mm. outright badass. Okay, with less than a minute to go, who would win in a race? Sonic the Hedgehog, Roadrunner the Flash, Speedy Gonzalez, or the kid from The Incredibles whose name I can't remember? Uh, Dash is his name, unfortunately. That's right, Dash. Okay, my my option on this one. Sonic. Sonic. Really? Sweet. Give him give him the Chaos Emeralds, and suddenly the light speed's feeling threatened. Yeah. You. I'd, I'd... See, I, I'm going with Wally West Flash because he can actually has have put uh, use the Speed Force as uh, as a suit. He can actually use the Speed Force as his suit. That's pretty broken. Yeah. That, See, that's me, pretty cool. I, I, I go with Roadrunner because he can literally run through solid objects and paintings <laughs> and <laughs> just all manner of bullshit. <laughs> I honestly have no idea. My brain isn't working as well. <laughs> There'll be awesome links between the four and that. That'd be. Uh, and see, the pro there's only one problem. There's one person missing. The Stig in a smart car would beat all of us. <laughs> <laughs> The stick in a Prius. The stick in a Prius. Yeah, the stick in a Prius would be able to beat all of them because the stick. <laughs> okay. Aye, anyway, aye, aye. anyway, that's this, that's this podcast. That's this podcast done. 
Um, we're all heading off. If you want to keep in touch, jump onto the Facebook page and hit us up. Uh, Facebook.com slash Save Sci-Fi. We've got a YouTube channel where we post all these up to as videos. So check out YouTube.com slash Random Numbers and let us just look for Save Sci-Fi. It will come up. Um, and as always, have fun and we'll send you to the love. <laughs>